So now let's work out with text in Cinema 4D. In order to work with text, first of all, you have to create a text spline. You can do that by going over here in this option. So just click and hold it. And over here, you can see text. Once you do that, you can see that the text actually appears right here. Let me just hold Alt and move it around just like this. So over here, this is the text. Let me change the text. On the bottom right, you can see that there's the option to work with the text. So I'm just going to type in to tube just like this, and it changes the text. I can also add in a second liner and say, uh, Lynn, just like that. And a second line has been added just like that. Over here, you can choose the font of your choice. So let's say I'm going to choose something else like impact, which is much more bold. So let me just move it aside just like that. This is right now left aligned. I can also center align it as you can see right here. So now everything is center align it or right align it. So I'm just going to center align it over here. There's the height I can, you can choose. So that's just the size. There's a horizontal spacing that you can do. And that's the vertical spacing that you can do. So if I want it together, I can do that as well. You can also separate the letters if you want to work around with them individually. So let me just keep this on. You can also have 3D UI. So in that case, you can work around with uh, individual fonts, as you can see right here. So you can go over here and work around with the individual fonts if you were to choose this. The pane is just where you want to display it. This is XY. This is different way of displaying the text. And this one has a different a top view approach to it. Let me just go over here and get it back to default. You can also reverse it out if you want to. So if I want to go over here uh, and change the paint out, reverse it out, I can do that as well. So over here on the bottom, you can see that the adaptive points are there. You can also have natural points and so forth, which are not going to see much over here. But if you were to go to adaptive, you can see that the curves actually changes. So shuttle changes like this can, can be there. So I'm just going to go over here I'm going to use subdivided so it is much more smoother as you can see. So this is quite normal, okay? No subdivisions, but if you want smoothness, you can use subdivided and it is much more smoother. You can also change the angle of the text right here. If you want to work around with the angle, you can work around with the angle over here as well. Here, the length. So these are the things that you can work with just like that. Let me just change this out, mm, okay. So now there's the coordinates as well. You can work around with the coordinates over here and there's some basic options that you can work with as well. So as we turn on the kerning, we can also shift the text aside as you can see. So let me just shift this D aside a bit. So let me just have a little gap just like that. I can do that as well. So once I'm done with arranging the text, I can extrude this to make it turn it into a 3D model actually. So I'm going to add in an extrusion. So I'm just going to click over here and there's the extrude. So let me drag the text spline and make it a child of extrude right here. And now just like that, this is a 3D model as you can see. So just like I can control extrude, uh, just like I did control my extrude in previous lesson, I can actually increase the height no, over here, the backward height, I can increase the subdivision for some smoothness over here, which we are going to go over around from caps. So we have round shapes right here. Bevel is round right now. I can increase the size of the roundness as you can see. And now the text has an interesting look. It's like a bubbly look right there. And since I've started in caps uh, as the same design, you can actually see that both of them are round. You can also have extended shape. I'm just going to leave it as it is and I can increase the segments as well to make it more smooth as you can see right there. So over here in the bevel shape, let me just choose curve and I can add in points. I can uh, create a curve just like this. I can have a bit of a curve over there, a bit of a curve over here to give it an interesting outlook. Let me hold control, drag it up like this down. Just keep it over here. And there you go. There's an interesting outlook of the overall model just like that. So that is how you can work with text in Cinema 4D. And the good thing is you can go over to text and if you do not want the text right there. So to do, do, do learn uh, and I want to change it to something like YouTube. Let's say, for example, I can just go over here and that has been changed and the changes has been applied as you can see right here. So that is how you can work with the text inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.